Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to put scales on my forehead and my jaw. Why scales, you ask? Well, we're going to be a crocodile. So first, we're going to use this darker green to draw out the scale shapes and where we're going to want them located. We are done with that, as you see. We are now going to use a lighter green to fill them in. After filling them in, we're going to use a darker green for shading. And my Q-tip started to do some weird stuff, so I flattened it and cut off the extra from the previous color. Only put the darker green, or what I did is I only put the darker green on the bottom. That way it gives it dimension coming out. A little bit also went around the side, but not too much. After that shading, I used the same color I to draw the shape back on the top again, and then once more the lighter color to on the top to give it more dimension. Now that we are done with various shadings, we are going to use a Q-tip and some black eyeshadow for in between the cracks. Then it definitely gives it a lot more lift in the scales themselves. That looks super cool, and with some blending, touch-ups, and various other things, it will be done. Now, so I don't bore you with doing my jaw, here it is. I kind of forgot which hand I snapped. It's not quite as good as the forehead ones, but close enough. For my lips, or your lips, I decided to use this sparkly green-blue color eyeshadow. Well, yes, eyeshadow is a pain and dries out your lips. If you put a chapstick before or lip gloss after, it works out pretty well. Next, I used a lighter green, like we did on the scales, for my eyeshadow. Next, I took some black eyeliner and do what I normally do, which is put it on the waterline. And that's it. That's a completed crocodile. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.